guys, what's up? It's Hope, and I'm coming to you with a 10-week uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. Um, I'm 10 weeks post-op from having the vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery. I had it on um, July 1st, 2013. Today is September 9th, 2013, so exactly 10 weeks ago today I had the surgery. Um, I'm going to start with the numbers first, um, and I am going to change the way I document my weight loss. This is the first video with that change. Um, I feel like if I use the weight that I was on the day of surgery, it gives a better depiction of how much weight I've lost in that amount of time. So I'm going to give you three weights. I'm going to give you my highest weight, the weight I was when I started my two-week liquid diet, and then the weight I was the morning of surgery. And then I'll give you um, the different, I guess, pounds as far as those different weights go. And then I'll let you know exactly how much I lost last week. Um, my highest weight ever recorded was 330 pounds. Um, when I started my two-week liquid diet, I was 323. And the morning of surgery, I was 306 pounds. So the morning of July 1st, I was 306 pounds. Last week, I came to you weighing 265 pounds. And um, this morning when I weighed in, I was 260. So I lost five pounds last week, which is an awesome loss. I'm super excited about it. Um... Cannot believe I lost five pounds last week, um, and I'm just continuing to do what I've been doing, um, and so that's actually the highest weight loss I've had since like two or three weeks after surgery, so I was really excited when I got on the scale this morning and saw a five pound loss. Um, so for my highest weight from 330, I've lost 70 pounds. Um, from my two week liquid diet weight, which was 323, I've lost 63 pounds. From the day of surgery, so in exactly 10 weeks, I've lost 46 pounds. So, um, that's incredible. I feel like that's amazing. Um, and with a five pound loss this past week, I'm just super excited with how the weight is coming off and how, um, how this whole journey is just unfolding. It's really awesome. And just to talk about a little bit of the foods that I'm eating, uh, I'm starting to eat a lot of red lettuce wraps. I don't really eat um, any carbs at all. I don't eat bread or rice or potatoes or uh, pasta. Um, so I'm starting to use lettuce kind of as a bread. Um, like I'll do a roll up or I'll do a sandwich kind of with the lettuce leaves. Um, and it's really awesome. I'm really, really enjoying that. I'm eating a lot of shrimp. I love shrimp. Um, whether it be grilled or um, baked in the oven or in a salad, I love any kind of shrimp. Definitely not fried, though. Um, but I'm just sticking to the healthier options, and I really love shrimp. Um, I'm starting to like baked fish a lot, which is weird because I didn't really like baked fish before my surgery. Um, but I have had it um, post-op, and um, here recently, last week, I had some, and it was really good. It really went down smooth. I didn't have any issues with it. It tasted really good, so I'm sure I'll be eating a lot more of that as well. I still love salads. It's pretty much every meal, I guess. Um, I'll have a salad and then some sort of protein. Of course, I'll eat my protein first, but um, it just... I. I I love salad, and that's just what my sleeve is liking right now. So um, that's what I've been eating a lot of. Um, as far as drinks go, I'm still drinking a ton of water. Um, that's my primary source of um, hydration. But I am drinking a little bit of sweet tea every now, unsweet tea every now and then, not sweet tea, but unsweet tea um, every now and then, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, but it's it's mostly just water. Um, when I, as far as going out to eat goes, um, I'm starting to share a lot with my husband. Um, what we'll do is either he will pick an entree that has a side salad and I'll eat the side salad and we'll share the protein, whatever it is that he might have chosen. Um, or, you know, I'll pick and then he'll share, you know, I'll get a little bit off of the plate and then he'll eat the rest of it. So it's really cool to be able just to share different um, foods with him and not have to us not have it to where we both order something. Um, so that's definitely saving us a lot of money. And um, when we go out to eat, we're able to make healthier choices. Um, as far as going out to eat goes, some of the things I eat when I do go out to eat, sometimes I will go out to eat um, during my lunch break at work. And um, so some of the things that I've done are, of course, um, a kid's meal hamburger but with no bun. Um, I've done that at Sonic. We have a Sonic around here. Um, they're actually everywhere. And, um, if I go to Sonic, I love their ice water. I know it's weird, but, um, I really love their ice water. 
And so um, I'll get a large ice water with extra ice, and then I'll get um, a junior cheeseburger and just eat the patty. And I can eat a whole patty, um, but I don't eat the bread or anything else. I've also had uh, tacos. Dairy Queen has um, really awesome tacos, but what I'll do is I'll empty the contents out of two of them, and I'll be able to eat the meat and a little bit of the cheese and, and be done. I won't be able to eat any more than that. Um, and then, of course, when I go to Subway, I don't get bread. I'll either get a chopped salad or I'll get a, sal I'll get a sandwich in flatbread, and um, I'll ask for a fork, and I'll just eat the contents out of the, um, out of the sandwich. I won't eat the bread. So I'm not eating bread at all, not eating pasta or potatoes or rice or anything like that, like I mentioned before. I'm just really trying to make really good choices, and like I've said before, that this is something that I'm doing. It's not something necessarily that everyone has to do. Um, it's just the way that I'm choosing to to do this journey and to follow, you know, the strict guidelines that have that were laid out for me by my nutritionist. I'm um, really just trying to make healthy choices. So, um, let's see. It's, I have my note sheet down here. That's why I'm looking down. But um, that's really most of the foods I've been eating. Um, Anything grilled, um, I'm, I'm having a good time. I'm not really having a difficult time with anything um, as far as foods go. I'm just being really picky um, with my choices, which I feel like is a good thing. Um, as far as vitamins go, I actually am having some issues with vitamins right now. Um, and so um, about a week ago, I think, um, I got the new bariatric advantage vitamin with iron and then I started having issues in the restroom department. And so, um, it got to the point where it was really painful to go to the restroom. And so I talked to my nurse and my surgeon and they have said not to take that vitamin anymore. Um, they actually just recommended doing a one a day just over the counter. Um, hold on just one second and I'll go grab it. Um, I was going to do this earlier and I forgot, but, um, and so let me show you, I'm just going to be taking this one now. Um, it's just an over the counter one a day and she said that was fine, but I'd have to take a B complex with it. So that's added more pills to my day. Um, and then of course I'm still taking the Nexium. I um, actually was out of the Nexium and I regretted being out of it because I had the worst heartburn ever today. Um, and so I definitely require, um, taking the Nexium. I am going to ask my surgeon if there's any, any way I can take a different kind of, um, I guess it's a, I don't really know, to prevent the heartburn because... I picked it up from the pharmacy today. It is $75. Like, I had no idea. And that's with insurance and a coupon. So, I'm going to see if there's something else I can take over the counter. I know a lot of you out there take don't take Nexium. You take something else. Um, that's just not going to work for me. That I feel like that's really crazy ridiculous. But So, now instead of taking the Bariatric Advantage, um, let me show you. Instead of taking this one with iron, I'm now taking the one a day and the B-complex. And um, I'm actually still taking the fiber gummies because I'm just really hoping it it, hel it helps with keeping me regular. Um, this whole vitamin with iron thing has really messed my system up. I'm having a really hard time um, going to the restroom and it not being painful. I'm just trying to get all of that out of my system. So I'm still taking the fiber gummies to kind of help with all of that. Um, and then I still do take a uh, sublingual B12 in the evenings. Um, that's pretty much what I'm taking as far as vitamins go. Um, th so those are the issues I'm having. There was a change in my, I guess, my vitamin regimen. And so um, that's one thing that week 10 brought was a change in that. Uh, my clothes are definitely getting a lot more loose. Um, I'm going to try and do a body shot, maybe post it tomorrow so that way y'all can see. I haven't done a body shot since the day before my surgery, so it would be really cool for y'all to see the difference in my body. I know a lot of people can tell in my face and my chin, um, but it would be really cool if I could do a body shot to kind of document that, what I look like at week 10. So I'm going to try and do that tomorrow. Um, definitely having more energy. Um, I'm doing really great. I'm not having any issues. No pain in my stomach. Um, no pain anywhere, really. 
Um, I'm starting to exercise a lot more as far as biking and running and walking around our neighborhood. My husband is actually doing all of those things with me, which is really awesome. Um, I love riding my bike. We've had so much fun. That's why I kind of look like a hot mess right now because we rode our bikes tonight and it was so much fun and um, we have a really good time doing it. So um, it's definitely a good workout for sure. We have not been to the gym yet or I haven't at least. Um, but I'm going to try within the next couple weeks to get in there and, um, you know, try that part. I mean, I guess work out in the gym to see how I like it. Um, I've never actually used this gym before. Um, with my surgeon's office, we actually got six free months at, um, it's a gym connected to the hospital. It's called the Health and Wellness Center here in the town I live in. And so, um... I haven't, I mean, it's free, so I mean, I haven't had a chance to really go there. It wasn't the gym that I was going to beforehand, so um, I want to go check it out at least once just to kind of see what it's like, um, and then I had the first person ask me, um, hey girl, how are you losing all that weight, and they didn't know that I had surgery. I'm very open about it. I'm, I don't hide it at all. I'm not, it's not something I'm ashamed about. I feel like no one has walked in my shoes. No one's had the struggles that I've had. No one has has been there to witness, you know, all of the ups and downs and diets and just crazy, crazy struggle that I've had with weight loss and weight gain over my whole life, really. And so I'm very open about it. And so when that person asked me, hey, how are you losing all this weight? I said, oh my gosh, you didn't know I had surgery this summer. And we kind of talked about the kind of surgery I had. And this person had actually thought about having surgery. So I was able to give her some insight and some advice. And you just never know. So I'm very open about my surgery. I'm very open about how grateful I am for the opportunity to have had the surgery. I feel like it's really changed my whole life. And I'm so grateful for that. And it's, something, it's definitely not something I'm ashamed of for sure. Um... And then the last and final thing I want to talk about is I went on my first motorcycle ride. And um, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, um, my husband and I are a part of a local law enforcement motorcycle club. And we ride motorcycles, or I ride and he drives, you know. Um, and we have so much fun doing it. And one of the things on my um, things I won't miss about being fat list um, was, you know, it being easy, it, it not being easy for me to get on and off the motorcycle would be one of the things that... Um, I wouldn't miss because it, it, it was really difficult to get on and off and he would have to stand up or he would have to let me on first. It's just things you don't think about whenever you're, you were a, a person, I guess, of my size before my surgery. And so we went on our first motorcycle ride and it was so much easier. So I cannot wait to see like when I'm at goal weight to see how you know, easy it really is for me to get on and off the motorcycle. It was just really cool to see the difference. And we had a little bit more room on the bike. So I felt like that was really cool. It was really kind of a non-skull victory for me to be able to get on and off the motorcycle without really struggling or, you know, get my legs stuck or whatever the case may be. Um, it's just really cool to see the differences, not only in um, you know, pictures and, and different things that I post on Facebook and Instagram, but, um, to personally feel healthier and to feel better. So, um, that's, those are the things that week 10 has brought me. Um, I hope you're all having an awesome night. Um, it is pretty late here, so I'm fixing to head to bed. So I just wanted to give a quick update for week 10, five pound loss. It's amazing, incredible. I'm so excited and grateful for, um, the loss that I've had. And I hope, um, that you all enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you again next time. Bye.